Good evening, and welcome back to the first and only debate to decide who will be the next president of model railroading. It's a very exciting night. We have here our candidates from the Ensco party, Mr. Jerry from Yankee Dabbler. How are you doing today? Hi. Okay, he's excited. And finally, from the HO party, we have here Christian from Yankee Dabbler. Christian, how are you doing today? Better than my opponent. Look at that guy. Exactly. All right. We also invited an O scale representative. Unfortunately, they couldn't fit through the door because they were too big. So we're going to ask some questions to our candidates to determine who will be the next president of model railroading. The first question I got to ask our candidates is model railroading is getting too high for the price. Uh, Americans are really suffering. What will each candidate do to make model railroading more affordable? HO, we'll start with you, Christian. TJ, they're eating the box cars. He, he's not going to do anything about it. Look at him. He's all smug, all content with himself. They're, they're eating the box for all the trains. You, you wouldn't even know it. That's Gosh, why they're so dude. expensive. Don't, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt me. You gotta lower the prices by keeping from eating the trains. We got food at home. Okay. Well, that was a very spirited debate done. here. Um, yeah, you are. We're cutting your imaginary microphone because we're gonna go from a sponsor from Yankee Dabbler. Let's take a look at a item for your consideration. Our first sponsorship for our uh, presidential debate here comes all the way from Atlas in the terms of some S2 diesel locomotives. Let's check out these guys here. These are really cool looking engines here. I have here six for your consideration here. The first one is from the Great Western. Really like the look of that engine here. And I have the Southern Pacific. Ooh, looks nice, Engineer Hall. I have here the Lehigh and New England. And then I also have the Erie. Spooky. I have here the Main Central. And then I'm going to wrap it up with the Canadian National with the Noodle paint scheme there. These are really great look at diesel locomotives. And if you're looking for a nice switcher, I think this might fit the bill for you. First of all, take a look at the front of that. I mean, is that a mother only, a face only a mother would love? Only face a mother would definitely love. But I would love this. And the neat thing about this engine is, check it out. It has a die cast metal frame. So it actually has a lot of weight to it. These look great. I love the background on there. These are just awesome looking diesel locomotives. And if you're looking for a nice runner that's going to pull some cars and maybe do some shunting work with your layout, switching, whatever you want to do, these might fit the bill for you. So, Engineer Hall, which one would you like to run on our layout? Uh, let's run the airing. All right, because it's spooky and we're kind of near Halloween time. Sure. Ooh, all right, so let's run the Erie. Let's take a listen to the bell. I like that bell. Horn. All right, let's fire her up. All right, let's get her eyeballing. That's a great sound of diesel locomotive, and it's a really good price, too. The retail of this engine is $284.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. So it's a great deal to get on a, a very nice looking diesel locomotive. I love the look of these engines, so I think you need them on your railroad. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these engines running today, and now I will return you to our debate. 
Our next question for the candidates are, cabooses are fleeing this country at an alarming rate. What will each candidate do to make sure that every train has a caboose at the end of it? We'll start with the NSCAD candidate. What do you What do you got to do to make sure that cabooses are uh, underneath, uh, at the end of every train? We're going to make it more affordable for everybody to keep them on the end of the train. Well, how are you going to do that? Lower the prices. How? Cut taxes for the middle class. How? How? I don't know. I didn't figure that out yet. All See, right. My opponent, he put... A caboose on the end of every train. Uh, what are we going to do about the Freds? They're sitting there flashing, all pretty like. He doesn't want that. It, what's up with that? He, what's wrong with school? No, 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 no. It all no. works. It, everybody's got to have a chance to make a living here in our beautiful country. He, he does not better. have your best interests at heart. The caboose looks better. Wow. Have to have another spirited debate happening here. Let's go to another sponsor from Yankee Dad where we take a look at another item. Our next item that we have here is from Atherin here, and this is a SD75M. And check out these Santa Fe engines because these are just great. So I have here, of course, the really beautiful, right, fresh out of the shop Santa Fe Warbonnet paint scheme, one of my favorite paint schemes. And then here I have two Prime for Grime versions. Now this one is has a lot of rust. Look at all those rust engineer hall. It's rusty. And then finally, I have here a faded version, another Prime for Grime. And these have been renumbered for the BNSS. So if you want to uh, model when the merger happened, you can definitely do that. Now, these are great looking locomotives here. I love the fact that Atherin does this Prime for Grime stuff. I mean, you know, look at all the rust that's happening on there. Got the patch job there. Obviously, you can see at one point there was an 8 in front of that, and they patched it over. I mean, this is really cool. And, of course, this is probably a specific part of railroading history. I'm not a super duper big uh, historian of Santa Fe, so I can't tell you the years, but I know someone out there is. These are just really great looking engines, and you can pair these up, you know, with some other BNSF engines that you have, or some other Santa Fe engines, or if you just want to buy itself, I think it looks really good. As a matter of fact, Engineer Hall, did you say you have one of these? You got me. I got uh, I two of them. I know you did. I noticed uh, they just uh, went missing, and we couldn't find where they went. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Anywho. So, uh, since Engineer Hall really likes this one here, apparently, we're going to run it and see what it sounds like. All aboard. So, I had the engine on the track. Uh, I thought I wanted the rusty one. We had the faded one. What, what's up with that? I know. I got the real one, but I want to hear this one because I want to take this one home. Um, you know, we're trying to sell trains, right? And I'm buying them. Uh, I'm a customer, too. All right. guess it works. All right. Let's hear what it sounds like. It sounds powerful. More power, baby. The ditch lights there, as well as the illuminated number boards. Here we go. I really like that. I can see why Engineer Hall got that engine. So <clears throat> if you just want the basic fresh paint out of the box of uh, factory one, 
That one retails for $329, but it sells here at Yankee Dabbler for $259.99. And if you want the Prime for Grind versions, this is a little bit more money because obviously you get a little extra paint detail on it. They sell for $339.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $264.99. So about five bucks difference if you want the Prime for Grind. I think they're all great looking diesel locomotives. I want to put them all together because I just think they'll look really good. And there's just something about that Santa Fe Blue Parade. I really enjoy that. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these engines rolling. Now let's go back to our debate and hopefully they're civil. Okay, so we all know that a lot of people still have DC power locomotives out there. So I want to ask each candidate what they are going to do to make sure that their engines have DCC and sound capabilities. Let's start with N scale. Jerry, what would you do to make sure that happens? Make it more affordable. Um, well, how are you going to do that? Cut prices, cut no. taxes. You've already said that. Um, Send it again because it's going to make everything work. This clown, he's just going to have you run with Dynatrol. You know, we have to have that Digitrax, maybe an NCE, this, this Joker. He's all on MRC power packs and 9 volt batteries. We trying to What's eliminate that. that. We no. trying to go with. Wrong. Mm -mm. No, no. that's what we all. So we're trying to go with. <coughs> Alright, well, this, this is this is jokester. Yeah. Alright, so I don't think the choices are, are very interesting here. So uh let's go to another sponsorship from Yankee Dabble and take a look at another model for your consideration. So uh, we have an engine here all the way sponsored by Rapido that hopefully would not be a word that someone would use to describe me. We have here a 44 tonner. Let's check these out here. We saw the Bakko ones, but these are the Rapido ones here. I have a couple of them. I don't have every one that I want simply because we're actually at a show right now. So a lot of them are at the show. But the ones I have here right now, I have the Rio Grande version. I have here the Pennsylvania Railroad. And I have here the Northern Pacific. Now, these are just great look at these locomotives. You saw the Bakbo one earlier, but of course, Rapido obviously has a lot more detailing happening with those engines. And of course, they always add those fun little Easter eggs that we'll hopefully explore in a second. But take a look at these engines here. They're just little tiny things, but I bet you these have a pretty good punch in terms of what they pull. Actually, are those metal couplers? I think those are metal couplers in there, huh? Those look really nice, too. These are really great looking diesel locomotives. As I said, I actually have a couple other row names here that I didn't have here. So if you were looking for something different, it seems like, according to our website, yankeedabbler.com, I have here a, uh unpainted version. So if you want to create your own railroad, maybe the E&H railroad. What do you think? Oh, that'd be great. Ooh, okay. Or we can do, let's see what else. I have the Rio Grande here. Oh, I have here a Main Central. I also have here in Pennsylvania. We already took a look at that one. Uh, there's a couple of different ones up there. So literally, just type in 44 tonner at our website, and you'll see all the different ones that we have here. So I really like this Rio Grande here, so I think i got to try it out and hear what it sounds like. Let's take a listen to the bell. Horn. Cool. All done. All right, fire up.
Now, of course, there's some goofy sounds that they put into the locomotive, so let's hear what they sound like. So, let's go. So if you're a fan of Mr. Rogers, there you go. Here I come to save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Yes, sir, when there is a wrong to right, Mighty Mouse will join the fight. On the sea or on the land, he gets the situation well in hand. All right, Mighty Mouse. I have no idea what that was. Self Looney Tune. I have no idea what that was. Looney Tune that could. Oh, I could like shoot lasers with this thing. Man, going around the log yard shooting the trains. That's cool. I'm sorry, but this is a really neat looking little commode. I This is the perfect engine for our show. Edge there, all wouldn't you agree? It's short, it, it, it's stubby, it's odd. <laughs> I was going for it's you know fun, what? but sure, short and stubby is the way you would describe. Oh, I'll tell you what, the retail value of these engines is two ninety nine ninety five. We're selling here at Yankee Delbert for two seventy nine ninety nine. Come get these engines. I'll tell you what, having your engine going around the yard saying "Here I come to save today," that's cool stuff. Wouldn't you agree? Short and stubby. I right. go back to the debate. Short and stubby. We all know great manufacturers like Atlas and Rapido and Scale Trains to make excellent models, but we also have the economic uh, models that we have from Bachman. So I'm going to ask each candidate what their view is on Bachman model trains. We're going to start with Christian. What do you think about Bachman trains? Well, Bachman, great company. They make everything from train sets all the way up to Spectrum. DCC sound. Uh, uh, Very good. Um, 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 uh, um, 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 uh, but... What's happening here? Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Cody Fisher. Uh, we saw the poll results, so I'll be taking over. You um, can't do that. Uh, that uh, it's perfectly legal. To I, I need a box. I'm too short. Uh, now we're, no, now we're, we all have the same now boxes I'm not here. Tall no, than let's let's, let's so be fair. Apparently, there's been a switch. So this let's go to another here. ad, and, and we'll see how this boxes. goes. Oh, we're throwing boxes. My opponent hit me. We have another engine here, sponsored from Ather, and this is a SD70A. See you. I think you're gonna like this engine here. Now, Edger Hall, what are these rebuilt from? These engines right here. Actually, it started out as a ST90 Mac, but you know it got a new cab from the ST70 uh, ACE. But some of the internal components has been changed out, so that's why we have this uh, new rebuilt locomotive. All right, so it's kind of like a Frankenstein of engines, huh? Of course. All right, so here I have some short line railroad called the Norfolk Southern. I have here a uh, Progress Rail engine. Now, you said this was a NS engine that was sold to Progress Rail? Absolutely. As you can see here that the patch job, it has here the long body and also the uh, NS that took it out and put PRLX. That's pretty cool. And also the NS patch been uh, uh, blocked out also and off the rear. Nice. And then I have here a Canadian Pacific. I really like this engine here. I love that color here. So let's take a look at this one for a little closer inspection because I really like the design of these engines here. Take that out, the beaver on the front. These are really cool looking engines. And these aren't short guys either. These are pretty long engine there, Hall. Very long. So I guess you're not getting these on my 15-inch uh, radius track, huh? Absolutely not. But yeah, the okay. short stubby ones, I can. Oh, uh, okay. There you are with the stubby again. All right. So these are really cool engines here. Of course, Canadian uh, Railway always has to have the marker or the ditch lights on it. But the actually, the NS1 does have it. So but all of them had the uh, ditch lights, which are really cool. So Engineer Hall, which one would you like to run? Uh, This run the <laughs> Canadian... Uh, Pacific. There one. you are. Very cool. I don't know how you came to that decision. So let's put her on the rails and see what she sounds like. I was surprised Engineer Hall didn't fight me on which one to run, and then he told me something. What'd you say? Uh, what I told you? Mm -hmm. I, I got one already, also. 
you got which ones? The other two, right? Yeah, I got the 73, uh, 7300, but you know, it's not here. Well, now you want to, you want to see what this sounds like, so you can take this one home. Absolutely. I'm, I'm trying it out. So are we making this show to sell trains to other people or just to you? Uh, let's just run it. Anywho, let's hear what this engine sounds like. You gotta make it sound good now, cause I'm, I'm a customer. I'm buying these. See what the horn sounds like. Ooh. Well, e bell. Here we go. That's a really cool sound of diesel locomotive. I love that the Aspen engines just operate so well. The retail value of these engines is three fifty nine ninety nine, but we're selling here Yankee Devil for two eighty four ninety nine. So it's a cool engine to get. I really like this uh, that Canadian Pacific Paint CA. I'm a little jealous. I'm thinking I might need to get one for myself. So coming to Yankee Dabbler, and obviously you need to get it before I get it, but especially Engineer Hall, who already has the engine in his pocket. Dude, we haven't even uh, whatever. I know. That's why I have it. I'm, I'm well, testing the product for I get it. Yeah, I guess. All right. So go on our website. Let's go back to the debate. So experience is very important in a president of model railroading. So I'm going to ask each candidate their experience level and how they feel like that's going to help them. So, Mr. Cody, what would your experience, how will that help you? My experience, I have as much experience as John Allen, John Armstrong, and Tony Coster put together. With our plan, end scale and all scales above are going to be above and beyond we're the best hobby ever. We are the greatest hobby ever. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I knew all of them when they were in diapers. You are not them. I am I'm better home. than them. You, no. Mm -mm. No, I, I nope. am better than nope. them. Wrong. We're, we're going to give Tad's nope. cuts to all model railroads. Nope. Every model railroad. Go back railroad, to Tyco Town. You know, no, Go back no. to Tyco listen Town. Here Plastic flashes. Bill and Tyco Town. Go. Nope. Listen, nope. listen here. Listen here, you uh, He's Hugo Slavian the Lego trains. Wall. Get, get out of here with your, with your mm -hmm. old rocals. No. I was hoping to have a nice civil debate, but I guess we can't do that. Uh, let's go to one Just more to... Uh, sponsorship from Yankee Dabbler so we can take a look oh, at okay. another item that we have. Let's do a little recap of all the things that we saw on today's show. It actually was the all-engine show here, so let's check it out. For after in here, I had these SD70ACUs. Those are really good sounding engines here. As well as these SD75Ms. I really enjoy them. We had here from Atlas, we had these s 2 these locomotives and from repeated we had the 44 tonners and again i had some extra uh ones that i didn't have here but of course they're at the show engineer hall uh we are actually at work or currently at the timonium train show here so uh since this video is going to come out in the future i want to thank everyone who stopped by the timonium booth to see us here we really enjoy seeing you and hopefully you can visit our website at yankeedobbler.com so you can get caught up on all the newest engines that we have here all the newest releases rolling stock all different types of scales there's so much you can do you can literally spend days scrolling through our website what'd you say engineer hall days, days. hours month uh, minutes seconds that's a lot of time all right so uh make sure you check out our website you know if you're not already subscribed to the engineer hall channel make sure you click that subscribe button he has a whole bunch of different things here he just posted a video on uh what was that your little modular display that you had there with the retaining wall and the track and everything yeah that was my uh diorama yeah i built it from start to finish showed the progress on it really you cool. know you can sit back, listen to the music, look at the progress, and see how. Because you'd be like a how to. Should That's be. Right. I really enjoy that one. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to come over and do it on my layout. Oh, yeah, doing? yeah. You know what? I can show you how to make rock no, castings. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I can show you how to do it. Do we can do it, it together. Right, just you know? do it. I'll give you 10 bucks. All right. Let's do it. Times that by.
Ten thousand, we can do it. Ten thousand? Yeah. Eh, might be worth it. I don't know. We'll see. So subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. We're gonna conclude this video with a rail fan video. We're gonna go to my son's bedroom actually. Because remember, I build him a train layout. And what time is it year is it, Engineer Hall? It's Halloween Ooh, so time, got, spooky, spooky time. I got a nice Halloween train going around his room. And he really enjoys it. He said the other day, goo. So I guess that's yeah. Yeah, yeah I like it, right? And boo. Oh, goo and boo. All right. So enjoy my Halloween train. We're going to conclude going to our closing statements from our candidates. Hope you enjoyed our debate. I want to thank you all for watching our spirited debate to figure out who the next president of model railroading will be. We have our two candidates here. What I would like you to do is I want you to vote in the comment section who you think the next president of model railroading should be. To sum up the case, they're each going to give their closing statements. Christian, we're going to start with you. Why should you be president? Why would you vote for somebody whose trains I could fit in my mouth? Look, what are you, what are you he, doing? he's sneaking Don't trains in. Disgusting. They pair Shoddy well work tiny hands, though. No, no, big hands, big hands. No, very tiny hands. You can have this bag. I don't want that I, bag. Nope, take it. No, no, you can keep your COVID. You know what? Let, listen, let, listen. Let, let, no, that's the C word is bad. You, we want to settle listen, this. Listen, listen. Train listen, race. You, Denny's your response to the scale train pandemic. Race. Nope, no, no train race. No, your oh, response only, to the scale no. pandemic. Get rid of that. Look at that. His podium fell apart, Shoddy. A very bad. Shoddy, made in China. Come on. You want to settle this on, on the high no, iron no, right now? No, we're going to Denny's. Come okay. On. Get out. Get out. You get out. You are all, we're both going out, idiot. We're in trouble. Yeah.